Ajahn, uh, let's try take five million here. Um, Um, boom, boom, boom. General physical material, maps, general bed map. I already prepared a folder with a small, small one, eight megabytes, uh, a big one, two nine three, where I'm attempting to break the logic of using JPG and PNG files over TX. Um, by uh, documenting vastly improved performance, both memory-wise and speed. Let's load the uh, small one. Hook it up. Uh, let's say you have 3,000 of these. You want to convert them to TX, Arnold, optimized, all good. Uh, so I um, created a um, Scene converter script. I have a repository here. Uh, I um, started out adding um, uh, maps, shaders, and it's this one bitmap texture to, to Arnold image. We can also uh, inject an OSL bitmap lookout node here, but uh, you can do it with the Arnold uh, uh, image node as well. And um, Basically, this is where we uh, point the, the file name from the legacy node to the uh, Arnold bitmap node. We can put other rules in here. But but you just go here, download it, and put it into your um, your enu folder. Uh, best way to access that is from here. When you open here, you go here, and it should be there. Okay. So right now I have... Let's see here. I need to clean out my conversion rules. Because we are only interested in one particular rule. Um, and that is bitmap texture to Arnold image. Add this one rule. Okay, it may pop a, a node under it. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I did this time. So it went through the whole scene and swapped the uh, legacy bitmap node to the Arnold image node while retaining the the, uh, the link to the JPG file. Okay, uh, we can close this one down. So now we're interested in generating uh, TX files, and uh, change the render setting. So I have this is the first probe bitmap, and this is uh, what I consider the f the real one. Um, so uh, you just pick your textures folder, collection of folders, and send to. Convert to TX, and um, it does so. Uh, same name, just different ex extension. So, where is um, what is the content of this uh, script? Well, uh, shell uh, sent to should pop us to the folder where this bat file is located. Um, it's here. Um, edit. And as you can see here, it loops through whatever the selection is, and you can add your own custom uh, settings to the make TX after the calling make TX. Uh, we'll send this file, and you just have to put it into uh, these shell send to. This is here. I'm going to go back to our bitmaps. We have conversion is complete. TX, TX, identical names. 
so then we um, pop up the render window here. Render settings, go here, here, here. Um, so maybe I need to make this one a little small so we can have the memory window in here as well. <coughs> like like this this could work okay um so uh let's try and render this jpg file okay 4.9 nothing came relatively quick um and and let's try and Uncheck this one. It should give us an error. Uh, so actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to use existing TX textures, uh, and it's the same. 4.9 textures, very small, so no big surprise. Um, we're going to use existing textures. Switch it off. And um, let's see here. Uh, I need to go to my to my um, to my uh, menu up here and flush the cache. All right. Let's see if we can access this one from here. We can. Fine. Okay. Um so we're still using the um the the JPG and we are using the TX texture now because it's looking in the folder and with this switch on it's using this to render and this is the referenced in the in the material editor. But it's actually using this one MIPT. And we're going to see the real power uh, benefits of, of, of doing this with uh, more normal texture, 400 megabytes. Um, uh, let's switch this one off. Let's go here. Okay. This image texture is going to be swapped out with the PNG of the other one. Okay, it's loading. <coughs> and there we go. Uh, let's uh, flush all. And let's grab the... Uh, we don't need... I just want to put it down here. Let's see here, 4.9. Let's try and render this one. One, two seconds, three seconds. This is going to explode. Go, go, go. It's still starting. There we go. That took 10 seconds. And we uh, completely sacked the memory pool with just one se one texture. Okay. Um, so we can improve the situation. Um, by enabling the TX version here. Let's see, 4.9. Uh, the other one took 10 seconds to start. Bam! Instantly, and no loss in memory, because it's using the um, MIP map uh, tile that corresponds to the detail level needed. And since we aren't zoomed all the way in, uh, there's no need to load all the texture data. And as you can see, if you sit in a situation where you constantly crash or something, you need everything to start up instantly when you render, because you sit in a loop of recovery underscore, recovery underscore, recovery underscore, and everything takes a long time to load. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that's one of the real powers of using the TX files. 
you saw it came instantly um, and memory pool was virtually untouched um, so I think that's it and I think I need to pack up or you can download the um, the uh, the scene converter script uh, from the repository and I will upload I will actually upload the uh, make TX uh, let me do that right away um, so uh, I'll do that and I'll explain it in the text and I'll upload this video and uh, you should be good to go on the TX count uh,